welcome to my classroom continuing again with soil water we have uh, today we will discuss about uh, how to compute accretion and depletion of soil water or better you should say profile water so i'll be explaining this topic by discussing by solving three four numericals which will help you to understand that how to calculate that what is the amount of water required to fill the soil profile up to field capacity for up to a certain depth. So first of all <coughs> the first numerical will be a soil 80 centimeter deep has volumetric water content theta v of 0 0.30 that means 30 percent uh, it's not uh, sorry it is not field capacity it is uh, that simply the initial water content in 80 centimeter deep soil has volumetric water content of 12 percent <coughs> so i have removed the percentage so it is 0 0.12 you are asked to find out find out the quantity of water or amount of water in centimeters to bring this volumetric water content volumetric wetness to 0 0.30 or 30 percent. So, very simple numerical that a soil initially contains 12 percent moisture content 80 centimeter profile we want to increase this water level to 30 percent. So, how much water we have to add and that amount of water is to be calculated in centimeters. So, <coughs> for this a very simple relation uh, I should say a formula a relationship you have to remember that is the depth of water this is equal to volumetric water content multiplied by depth of soil. In fact, this relationship is uh, used to find out uh, because you have percentage of water, you have wetness and you want to convert that wetness into amount of water present in the soil in centimeter units. So, if you have water content in centimeter units, you can even find uh, find out that what is uh, you know the volume of water present in the soil. What is volume in cubic meters? What is volume in uh, uh, you know liters? You can find out that. But for that, first you have to calculate the water in centimeter units. So for this, this is the simple formula. So f now we will calculate that what is the amount of water present in the soil initially. Now, initially it is 0 0.12 or 12 percent of volumetric water content and what is the depth of soil 80 centimeter multiplied by 80. So, see it comes out to be 9.6 now it will be in centimeters. Then <coughs> secondly this is uh, I should say now initial depth of water present in the soil initially. Now, you want to bring or you want to increase this water level to 30 percent. So, now what will be depth of water I should say final. So, this will be 0 0.30 multiplied by again depth of soil is that will remain same 80 centimeters. So, 80. So, this comes out to be 24 centimeter. So, that means this is the water content present in the soil 9.6 this is the water content we want to bring the soil volumetric water content of the soil to 30 percent, uh, 30 percent. So, now you can simply say amount of water <coughs> required. So, this will be 24 minus 9.6. So, this will be 14.4 centimeter simple. Now, you can find out the volume un, uh, uh, amount of water in volume units. For example, say you want to calculate for it uh, for a acre field 
4,000 square meters. You simply you can find out how many cubic meters of water you require. Or from cubic meters you can simply find out how many liters of water is required to be added into the soil to bring its moisture content to 30 percent. So, very simple. Now, another example. <coughs> okay, for this, uh, yeah, it is uh, same if this is your A. In B case, it says that this is the same soil. Now, he says how much water, let me say it is B, how much water is needed to wet the soil up to 125 centimeter. Now, this is very important. Initially, we say our profile depth is 80 centimeter. Now, we want to wet it up to a depth of 120 centimeter and how much water is required. Now, again say same formula depth of water. So, this is equal to uh, volumetric water content multiplied by depth of soil. <coughs> now, we know that this theta over here this is theta is final minus theta initial into depth of soil. Now, theta final is 30 percent 0 0.30 minus initial is 0 0.10 multiplied by now here the depth of soil is 125 centimeters. So, this comes out to be equal to 0 0.18 multiplied by 125 this is somehow 24.6 centimeters. So, the question is uh, why I should say uh, you, you might have a question over here that why this subtraction of the two because 30 percent is the field capacity moisture content when the soil profile the say 80 per centimeter soil profile it will attain the field capacity then water will start moving down. So, if you have to bring this uh, 125 centimeter of soil profile up to the level of 30 percent of moisture content, then you have to take the difference between the two final minus initial and multiplied by 125 this will be. So, <coughs> now another example. Many a times uh, you know the moisture content is not uniform throughout the profile. <coughs> you are given the data like this that a soil has moisture content in different layers say 0 to 5, 5 to 20 this is in centimeters then 20 to <coughs> 80 centimeter then 80 to 100 centimeters. So, different these are different layers of the soil and then you are given mass wetness and this w is gram per gram. Mass wetness in the first layer is 0 0.05 that means 5 percent, 0 0.10 that is 10 percent, <coughs> 0 0.15 that is 15 percent, 0 0.17 17 percent. So, generally it happens that the moisture content increases as you go down into the profile. Then you are also provided with bulk density of different soil layers because until and unless we have the bulk density of the soil we cannot find out volumetric water content. So, to calculate you know uh, the amount of water present in the soil you must have theta you must have volumetric water content than mass water content. So, this is in grams per cubic centimeter. So, these values are 1 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.4. Okay. And you are asked to find out that I will write over here how deep a rain of 5 centimeters 
will penetrate into the soil and of course he says that field capacity moisture content is 0 0.30 now you are given moisture content for each layer you are given <coughs> bulk density for each layer you are given field capacity moisture content of whole soil profile that is 30 percent and now he asks you that if there is 5 centimeter of rain how deep this rain pen, rain water penetrate into the soil. So, again you have to stick to the same formula. Formula is depth of water is equal to uh, you know theta v multiplied by depth of soil. <coughs> now, here first of all we will find out theta v and you know the relation between volumetric water content is equal to mass water content multiplied by bulk density of the soil. So, if you multiply it theta v will be 0 0.06, 13 percent, 0 0.13, 0 0.21 and 0 0.24. <coughs> okay. Now, again this is your final water content because until and unless this 0 0.5 centimeter of the profile it will achieve field capacity water will not move down. So, first it will achieve field capacity how 0 0.30 minus 0 0.06 and multiplied by depth of soil that is 5 <coughs> multiplied by 5. So, this will come out to be uh, 1.20 centimeters. Okay. <coughs> then 0 0.30 minus 0 0.13 multiplied by now here your depth of soil is 15. So, this will be your 2.55 centimeters. So, in the third layer now you have 5 centimeter you have total 5 centimeter of water out of this 5 centimeter of rain water 1.2 centimeter has already penetrated then another in another layer 2.55 centimeter. So, that means if you add 1.55 plus uh, sorry this is 1.20 plus 1.55. So, this will be 2.75 what is left 2.25 centimeters. Now, 2.25 centimeter cannot you know wet 2 point uh, this is 1 2 points 7 5 2.25 plus 2 1.20 plus 2.5 1.20 plus oh, oh sorry this will be 2 point 1.2 plus 2.55 oh okay 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 sorry thank you and this will be now 3 point yes it will be 3.75 it will be 1.25 now so 1.25 centimeter is not sufficient that it may wet you know uh, 60 centimeter because next layer is 60 centimeters so, now we will proceed other way round that okay, we are left with this much of rain water. Now, what depth this rain water will wet the soil. So, now again using the same formula and we have now third depth. So, 0 0.30 minus 0 0.21 we will take this as. So, this will be 0 0.09. <coughs> So, I will write over here 0 0.30 minus 0 0.21 and now we have to find out the depth of soil and here the depth of water is 1.25. Should I ag again write over here this 1.25 came from 5 centimeter of rain water minus 1.2 already used in wetting the first layer 
plus 2.55 this is already used for wetting the second layer and this is 1.25 okay so now ds depth of soil will be uh, this one 0 0.09 uh, sorry this will be 1.25 divided by 0 0.09 this will come out to be uh, 13 we can better calculate it can you calculate it 1.25 over 0 0.09 0 0.1125 this is no, 1.25 divided by 0 0.09 13.8 so this is 13.8 centimeters so now the depth wetted by 5 centimeter of rain this is equal to 1.20 plus 2.55 plus 13.8 so you can add up this will come out to be uh, sorry 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 I make a mistake over here this is in fact the first layer first layer is 5 centimeters second layer is 15 centimeters so I made a mistake over here 5 plus 15 plus 30 point so this is 20 33.8 centimeters so if this is the situation and you have a 5 centimeter of rain it will penetrate it will wet the soil up to a depth of 33.8 centimeter provided the field capacity moisture content is 30 percent of the soil <coughs> I hope uh, these few numericals uh, might help you in you know ca computing the accretion and depletion of profile water which is uh, very very important for making some practical you know calculations uh, to add water into the soil or to drain water out of the soil. Thank you very much.